Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. But first, seek his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All of the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment, and second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you, for this sums up the law and the prophets. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Jesus answered them, It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. Blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them, so that your Father in heaven may forgive you your sins.